Hello everyone, so before today's lesson starts, I'd like to let you know that if you head over to our Weixin Gong Zhong Hao, you can download these English slang poker cards for free. All you have to do is go to Super English 1234 on Weixin and Guan Zhu, and then you will see the Wen Zhang, and you can download the poker cards for free. So you can download them, print them out, cut them out, and then use them for yourself. So here is the first English slang card, okay? Pants. So you might think, well, I already know this one because I studied American English. However, in England and America, these are actually two different meanings. In America, it means trousers, kuzi, right? But in England, it means neiku, underpants. So if you said, oh, my pants are wet, it would mean something completely different in England and in America. <laughs> Another thing to know about the slang word pants is that it actually also means bad. So if you're describing something as bad, you can say, oh, that's pants. Or if you wanted to say, oh, you can say, oh, pants. It might sound a bit weird actually describing something, oh, cool, but it just means, okay. <laughs> the next card here is quid. Now, quid actually means pound sterling, yin bang. So if you said um, one quid, it means yi yin bang. It's kind of similar to the American slang for dollar, they would say one buck, right? So one, one quid, yi yin bang. Actually, no one knows where the word quid comes from. Some people say that it comes from um, the Roman invasion or occupation of Britain and from Latin. So in Latin, there's a phrase quid pro quo, which means one thing in return for another. So maybe that's where it comes from, quid. The next British slang I'm going to teach you is stingy, okay? Stingy. This one is also money related. So stingy is someone who does not like to spend money. In Chinese, it would be ko. Sorry. Is that right? Hung ko, hung ko. What's that? Now it is said this word comes from the word sting. So you might know sting as in sting, a bee sting. However, sting also has a different meaning. It means to cheat someone out of something or out of money. So for example, if you said, he stung me out of 20 quid, he So to be a stingy person is a person who does not like to pay for things. You can almost think of it as like, if you call someone stingy, it's almost like if he doesn't pay, he's kind of cheating you in a sense. So for example, if you wanted to go out to a pub with your friend and he's like, no, I don't want to spend any money. You can see, you can say, don't be so stingy. It's like you're cheating me because you're being frugal. You're being tight with your money. I feel cheated, okay? You're so stingy. So in a sentence, you can say, oh, I hate hanging out with Dave. He's so stingy with his money. The next one I'm going to teach you is the dog's bollocks. Go dan. <laughs> now, if you guessed what go, you go, the dan dan, what does that mean? Well, actually it means awesome. It means really, really good, incredible. So if you called someone the dog's bollocks, you're the dog's bollocks, mate. They'll be like, wow, thank you so much. Now, don't mistake it with just the word bollocks by itself. I need to go down. It actually means you're really bad. If you say someone's bollocks, it means they're bad, okay? But if you call someone the dog's bollocks, it means they're really good. Easily confused. <laughs> now, no one really knows why the dog's bollocks means really good or incredible. However, there are some similar words which involve animal parts and some random words. So for example, the cat's pajamas or the bee's knees, they all mean the dog's bollocks. They mean something really good. The next one here I have is in it, in it. In it is slang for isn't it. However, it's used quite differently to if you only used isn't it. Because isn't it is like shu bu shu, right? But in it can be used in different ways. That's what I said, in it. That's what I said, in it. So in Chinese, it just means shu bu shu. However, it kind of reminds me of Yunnan hua. Taman hui shuo ge shu. They wouldn't say shu bu shu. They would say ge shu. Ge shu na xiong dei. It's like shu bu shu na xiong di. In English, it would be in it, bruv. In it, though, bruv. 
是不是呢，兄弟？ You can use it in many scenarios. So, for example, this movie is really good in it. You can also use it when you're asking a question, but you don't really want to expand on it. Brexit's a mess, isn't it? Yeah. Another usage is if you wanted to downplay something. So, for example, I'm going to take the last piece of cake, isn't it? All right. So as you might have found out, British slang is actually quite difficult. So a lot of people, when they go to England, they get a little bit confused because not only do they speak fast, they also use words that you wouldn't learn in China.、Um, so if you want to download these poker cards, you can go to our Gong Zhong House Super English One Two Three Four for free. You can download them. You just have to Guan Zhu, and then every day I also have a recording that you can. Uh, improve your English listening and speaking soon because we have a 小程序马上要出来了 If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up at the bottom and leave a comment if you have any other video ideas and, or if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.